Hey guys, thanks so much for coming over to watch another video here at Elite Gaming. And on today's video, guys, I want to show you the Steam Link platform. Now, when we talk about customizing your gaming, this is a great product to have when you want to be able to stream your PC games from the Steam application over to the big screen. And so similar to what the Xbox One is able to do over to your PC, but the other way around. So if you're interested guys, I just hooked it up and I'm going to walk you through the basics to get it to launch and ready for gaming. Keep watching this video. Alright, so the first thing uh, you'll see here is I guess we're going to go through the basic configurations of the uh, software. So we want to set up the language here. We have it to English, obviously. Alright, so connecting to network. And um, this product can definitely connect wirelessly or directly to the internet. Now, if you have a really good solid internet connection, uh, on my end, I'm using AT&T, has worked great on streaming games. Um, for example, when I do the Xbox to the PC, no problem, works really good. However, though, I do recommend to have it directly to connected. But if you don't have that option for now, in my example, we're going to set it up as wirelessly. Now you're going to see that it offers the five gigahertz, which is the most stable and fast wireless option. So let's go ahead and choose that. And then of course here, go ahead and enter your password, whatever that is. Give it a moment. At first, guys, um, it didn't find the uh, PC that I want to connect to, uh, which is weird because this is connected wirelessly on the Steam Link side. However, my PC is connected to the Ethernet uh, instead. It's the same network, um, just different connection types. So strange on why it did not work. So um, I skipped that by choosing canceled on the bottom left there. And then it has an update. So as you can see, go through that. And then we're gonna to try to reconnect again and see if it works. Once it has restarted guys, it's going to go ahead and apply the update. So just sit tight, be patient. Okay guys, so I uh, let this thing link restart several times so that he applied his update. Um, regarding the internet and the connection of the PC versus the Steam link, I was able to confirm that um, it will only find the PC, at least for what I'm able to see and I showed you, if your PC, laptop, whatever, is on the same wireless or Ethernet connection as your Steam Link, which uh, in my initial setup, I had the PC on the Ethernet and then Steam Link on wireless, it just won't work. It would not find it. I do plan later on in the future, in the next week or so, or before, to run an Ethernet cable from my AT&T router directly to the living room here, not just for the Steam Link, but also for the Xbox, just for that stable connection. So, but what I did for now to be able to uh, get it to work, I connected my PC wirelessly to the same wireless connection as on the Steam Link. Another small detail to keep in mind so that you don't drive yourself crazy when setting this up, is that um, you notice how we offer the five gigahertz wireless option and the regular wireless option. Um, the fact that, for example, my PC has a simple wireless adapter inside the unit, it did not offer the five gigahertz. And for that matter, connecting the Steam Link on the five gigahertz, again, would not work. So, um, in that case, make sure that they're both on either the same Ethernet 
connection or on the same exact wireless connection. So with that in mind, guys, now that we got the whole technical aspect out of the way, let's dive in and uh, experience this interface. So we're going to add a uh, computer here. And as you can see, it was able to find my desktop. So go ahead and choose it, select. Okay, so it's asking me to enter this particular pin on the desktop. So let me go ahead and do that really quick inside my Steam application from the PC. You see my user uh, above there, that's me. All right, and so now here we have the library where we can see obviously all the games that I currently have on the application. And we can basically navigate through the different options. So let's go ahead and dive in on the interface here really quick, just to kind of walk through the basics here. Let's go ahead and go right. We got community, the store, the web, the library of games, the chat, uh, anything else? I guess that's it. And then of course you have all your other notifications up here as you would see on your Steam application, as you see up there. And so let's dive in the app uh, library here, guys. And from the library, we can see uh, our games, some of the recent ones, the installed ones, and games in general, right? Uh, different videos and downloads. So you get some pretty good content from this view. So I'm going to dive in into the uh, recent here, like say, just for testing purposes. And then I'm going to dive in the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Give that a shot and see how that plays. All right, and then right from here, guys, you have the play game option and all the other options available within the game. So let's put it to the test, should we? Another thing, too, that you can do, guys, is play with your Xbox remote. Um, if you're connecting it to your screen, I happen to have the Xbox remote and currently I'm using my Logitech uh, multimedia keyboard which is great when you're navigating through but when it comes down to the mouse you can see that the only option is this touchpad option which is not going to be as great for the mouse aspect. So let's go ahead and dive in as is, and then I'm going to give the remote a try. So let's play this game. And it's launching. So basically what it did, guys, it launched the game on my PC. And then now I'm over here on the big screen, streaming it, basically. So that's what it's doing. Um, kind of like with the Xbox One, where you're able to launch the game from here and then stream it over to your PC. And obviously by doing that, you know, your monitor or your TV does not need to be on. All right, let's go ahead and dive in on some basic servers here and see how the streaming aspect works. Now you can see right now that we're getting some pretty good HD quality on the, uh, on the video. So let me go ahead and grab my Xbox One remote here and most likely I will need to use the USB cable to connect the Xbox One using those USB connections on the back of the product just because I do not believe that it will connect wirelessly to the Steam Link as it would with the Xbox One. So really quickly let me just have that connected really quick just so that it's ready for me if I choose to do that. 
All right. I'm going to choose this player here. And this is one of the things to keep in mind too, guys. You can see how it's uh, jumping a little bit. And actually, by the way, I think I have some games downloading in the background. So let me pause those to get the best out of the wireless. All right, so what I did, guys, because uh, you saw that there was some uh, lagging on the game. And I did have a couple games downloading. And so, of course, you know, when you're playing on the wireless, guys, it's best to have nothing downloading or uploading while you're trying to stream, play, or whatever it is that, that's using your wireless. So what I'm going to do the second time around, I've connected my Xbox One remote directly to the Steam link. I stopped all wireless downloads and uploads. And right now, I'm just going to dive in and test it this time around and see how it is. So right now, I'm fully controlling the uh, Steam link with the Xbox remote. Alright, so let's go ahead and dive into our library. If you notice there, it skipped for a second. Definitely not as responsive as I want it to be. Like right now, I'm, I'm trying to move, but it, it just jumped to that not not really a good experience so far um, I would expect and I believe it did say that on the steam side to connect it to Ethernet to have the best experience possible uh, because keep in mind that this is streaming uh, from your PC so of course it's not the primary uh, application using the service like right now is is basically not even moving. So um, you know I'm not gonna waste time on on trying to figure out why on the uh, connection aspect. Just uh, wanted to show you guys how to set up the product. Uh, very easy to do. You so you just plug it in, run the HDMI cable, and. Um, and then go ahead and you know link your Steam with your PC as I showed you. Make sure it's on the same wireless connection. And then there it is. You'll have your library, all the things uh, related to the Steam account. And um, there you have it. I will be making another video when it's connected directly to the Ethernet. Uh, but for right now, I think that, that I'll end it right here. If you like the video you just watched, Go ahead and hit the thumbs up option while you're here right below the video. Also, choose to share this video on social media as well. I'm sure there's someone out there who can benefit from the video. Another thing you can do from here guys is post your comments and share your experience watching the video but also any questions you may have. Most importantly though, choose subscribe if you're not yet a subscriber of this channel. The next thing that you can do from here is to move over to the name of the channel if you like to go into the home page of that particular channel. From here you have the option to play any other video from the particular playlists that are available. If you look on the right hand side of the particular channel that you're watching you will see all the other featured channels that we also own. Another important thing to also do while you're here on the home page is to navigate over to the website for that particular channel and the social media profiles associated to it. As always, this is Alan Hernandez and I look forward to our next video.